is ready. We know who's next. Our next toast is from the best man, Bob. He's got something in store, I can tell. Hey guys. First off, I want to thank the Delana and Beck family for this whole opportunity. Like, just being up here right now is because of them. Let's give a round of applause to the beautiful family that made this possible today. Second of all, I apologize to everyone in the back of the room. You're not going to be able to see the presentation. But if you want to see it, feel free to scoot up a little bit. Scoot up! So I'll tell you something right now about the whole being a best man and giving a good speech. It's a nightmare. Because Danny is an angel. And he's never done a single thing in his entire life. So I have no stories to tell. So Mr. and Mrs. Delane is here tonight. I promise you, there was never a single party thrown at your house. And if there was, I wasn't there. And I'm upset about it already. But more importantly than that is the fact that like, I'm standing up here right now completely honored to just be Dan's best man. He's like one of my best friends. But instead of being really cute, I decided to do a lot of research. And I said to myself, even though I'm the best man today, I want Dan to be the best man he can be for the rest of his life for Danielle. Yeah. So what I did is I spent hours, days, weeks, months studying the art of being a good husband. And today I got a presentation for you. And what I found out is that actually marriage is an acronym. Did you guys all know that? No one knew. So without further ado, I give you. <laughs> marriage. Marriage. What does it stand for? By Robert Lamarco. By the way, I'm Robert Lamarco, everybody. M stands for me, myself, and I. As in, these words no longer exist. So Dan, every time you think of me, myself, and I, you know what they mean now? Me now equals we, I equals us, and myself equals couch. As in, when you only think of myself, it means you're sleeping on the couch. You understand? A stands for anything she wants. As in, happy wife equals happy life. Literally, I didn't have to say that. And I know Dan, Dan, I know what Dan's thing, and Dan's like, anything she wants? I can't do that all the time. Don't worry about it, Dan. I put together a chart. As you can see here in this chart here, if you notice, if you give Danielle nothing, equals sadness. So if you notice by the chart, the more you give her, the happier you will be. So when Dan decides, you know what, today I'm thinking I don't want to give her anything, sad Dan. Okay? Fine. Random romance. And I know what everyone's thinking. Bob, what are you, crazy? What does that even mean? Relax, Dan. I'm going to tell you. Give me one second. Basic romance is holidays and birthdays. But random romance is like a Tuesday. Hey, baby, it's a Tuesday. Here's, a here's flowers, because I love you. And I know what Dan's thinking. I don't need that. Daniel loves me for who I am. I'll do basic romance. So what I did is this. <laughs> I put together a chart. Every man in the world who has ever just done the basic romance package, as you can see here, they're not married anymore. So if you see in this blue chart, random romance, if you want to just be happy, because I'm not doing this again, you get one speech. So random romance. I, and if Danielle tells me that she didn't get flowers because it was Tuesday, I'm going to spend the whole week with you guys. Okay? Understand? So random romance. Give her a little spontaneous stuff. I'm sorry. And most people are saying like, I'm sorry, like that's easy. Like, I'm, trust me, Danny, just when you might be right or wrong, 
you're automatically sorry. Even if you're right, when you're right, you're wrong, and when you're wrong, you're sorry. And I know what you're thinking. Dan's, Dan's and trust me, the Delanis will tell, tell you guys, Dan thinks he's always right. So what I did is I actually did a, um, I put together a chart for us. Everything in green represents when you're gonna be wrong. So if you see here, there's a legitimately 100% chance that you're gonna be wrong at some point. So I don't wanna hear Danielle calling me up and saying, Dan didn't apologize, I'll lose it. So when you're right, you're wrong, you're wrong. Sorry. Uh, thank you. Oh man. Woo. Awareness. And know what Dan's thinking? Bob, what does that even mean? Dan, if you could just please let me finish the conversation. <laughs> awareness. I know what Dan's thinking. Everyone in this room right now is thinking, what's awareness even mean? Guys, don't worry about it. As in, there's an arrow. You see the arrow? That means we've got some examples. <laughs> ah, example one. A rogue sock. Now, most men, when they're single, they can do whatever they want. There's no such thing as laundry. We throw a sock on the floor, we don't care. Now that you're married, do not walk by that sock. It goes in this thing, it's called a laundry basket. <laughs> it's a fine example of these things are not good anymore. When you're single, you can do it, but not anymore, okay? And now Dan's thinking, oh, that's one example, Bob. That's never happened. I got a second example. <laughs> yeah, second example. Oh, see, if you're looking at this right now, everyone's thinking, just two stick figures, you know? But there's something different about these stick figures, Dan. Okay? There's a slight difference in the haircut. And I'm going to tell you something right now, Dan. If you're not aware, if Danielle comes home, I'm going to tell you right now, she's not going to tell you every time she's getting a haircut. If you show, if she shows up to that house and you don't recognize that haircut, I'm going to lose it. Rogue haircuts, 5% of the time, that's failed marriages. You don't want that. You want to know when she gets that haircut. So you see this here, Dan? Practice, learn, recognize. You make sure that example two will never happen to you. Okay? Man. I'm so sorry, everybody. I had a, such a short speech, but I had to do this for Dan. Great. Great. If you ever notice a theme, I actually, every letter stands for marriage. Then we cut on to that? Okay. Good, because I am very nervous because I thought no one caught on. Great. And everyone's thinking, great? What does that even mean? <laughs> Dan. Dan, let me tell you what great means. I don't want to hear, next time I talk to Danielle, I don't want to say, hey Danielle, how's everything going? She goes, it's okay. If I hear that, oh my God, I will just, <laughs> oh man. I want to hear how enthusiastic your relationship is. But not only the fact that it's just great, everything's great. If Danielle says, hey, you know what Dan, I'm thinking we should spend the weekend with the Becks. And you're gonna say to her, you're not gonna say, it's okay, that sounds good. You're gonna say, that sounds great. <laughs> the in-laws? Oh yeah, that sounds great. You come home one night and she makes dinner, you might eat it, and granted, Daniel might have an off night. I don't wanna hear that it was okay dinner. You know what it was, Dan? It was a what? Great. A great dinner! <laughs> Woo! Oh. Every day. From this day forward, every day, I want to make sure you both, this is for both of you. Danielle, do you look at me too? This is for you, young lady. Every day. From now on, every day, I want to make sure you guys realize that you're together every day. You're in this together every day. Love each other every day. Say I love you every day. Be there for each other every day. Be your support system. Because every day from the rest of your lives, you're going to have each other. So remember that. This is, you guys are your support system. So, everyone raise your glasses to Danny and Danielle. I can't wait, I can't wait to make sure you guys spend every day together the rest of your lives. I love you, cheers. That's all folks.